Olinik, my boy, stop throwing punches, okay? You cannot throw punches for your life. Just go yes. for a Ezekiel Chuck, fall on your butt. Look, and okay, but look at the difference. Look how bad like his fight, Fabrizio, Fabrizio twists his twists his ar his hips into his punches, whereas Olinik is like slap head in it. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen. Yes, Fabrizio Verdumi throws good technical punches, but can he Ezekiel Chuck from bottom? I think not. <laughs> okay. Does he does he have good uh, good scarfold? I'm not sure. Oh, this is a good opportunity for me to get to some of the questions I had prepared because like people were asking the questions. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. All right. So Kara asks, how much of a role do fans play in increasing the intensity of a fight? Um, Danya, I'm gonna throw that to you. Yeah, it, it, it does. Um, especially like if you guys. It's, it's a whole different environment. You really we really feed off the energy uh, of the crowd. Uh, even in your sparring sessions in the gym, when you're when there's a whole group of like ten of us who are all sparring, yeah, you're you feel that you don't really feel that energy. But if you're the only pair in the entire gym sparring and you have the rest of your training partners all yelling and screaming, you really have all the eyes on you. You feel that you feel that energy. And you mm -hmm. use that as fuel, and that also translates even more when you're out live in front of an audience. Guys, I do love eating innocuous cookies on the Lake of Pontiac. Yes. God, you can tell the effects of the drugs on Verdum, man. Look at his belly. Like, he never. I, I was saying. He always that body, but the, he looks exceptional in his dad yeah. body. No, today he looks really bad in that dad body. Okay? Yeah. Like, a little bit more than normal. Yeah. A little. A li look at him versus K. A little bit more than normal. Like, he's always had a dad bod, but a little more than... Ooh, than nice before, name. That's for sure. Oh. I agree. Nice. Guys, I don't know about you. Verdum is looking slow. Like, you can really... than a that's, all, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you can really tell, like, he's off the roids here. Dude, Grit is gonna have to carry Verdum through this round because this is not looking good. Ooh. Yeah, that one that one minute recovery time is gonna feel like fifteen seconds. Whoa! Ooh. Good right hand bite. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Where are you at? Down. Wow. Wow! 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 Steph, you see that? Oh! oh. Ooh. Where are you oh guys my at? God! Oh. It's over. It's over. It's done. It's done. Well, what wow. a right hand by. Oh my God! Yeah. Is he the first person to finish Jeremy Stevens? No, he's been finished before, by, by, by body shot, Jose Aldo. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. By oh like my God. clean, clean right hand. No follow up shots in the guard. First of all, Calvin Cater looks kind of dunny. Doesn't he look kind of like Paulie Fish? A little bit. Shout out Second to Paulie Fish. You get is that an elbow? Shout out to Paulie Fish. Was that an elbow? Oh, it was an elbow? I want to see that again. I want to see that again. Because oh, Jeremy Stevens is cut up. Like, is it that an elbow? elbow? It was an elbow. Cater adding some new wrinkles. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm really impressed with Cater. Oh man, that was violent. That's one of those knockouts where it just makes me cringe a little bit. <laughs> Jamie Stevens now has the record in losses in the UFC. Record in most losses? Previously, did he not? Sorry? Priscilla, a Priscilla Cachoeira is coming for that title. <laughs> do, you, do, you know why, do you know why I wouldn't bring back George St. Pierre? Because... For me, as like, I don't know, when he, you guys might not feel this way, but for me, when he fought, it was just so like... It wasn't fun. You know. It wasn't fun. It wasn't. Yeah. Well, no, I, I found it entertaining, but, I, okay, I enjoyed his fights. I, I Full disclosure. But like, I felt so nervous for every one of his fights, because I felt like he was representing Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hear that. So like, yeah, yeah. I hear that. Every, every fight he had for me was like a mini heart attack. So you're, you're about to fight with Francis Ngannou and you're, it's like you're customizing your video game character at the beginning of the fight What's uh, what haircut do you have him with? do you go with the dreads? do you go with the, the short hair? Sh you well, know what? Like when he was fighting C Stipe, Stipe he had I'll this really nice haircut like, when he was fighting Stipe he had this really nice haircut I'd go with that one 
Wait, yeah, no, you know the high top? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the high top was cool. It's very, <laughs> yo, the high top is very African, man. I like it. Yeah, I like <laughs> that one. <laughs> it's very like 1980s, like Utah Jazz basketball. For sure. Yeah, yeah you look like Patrick Ewan or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh Amazing. my God. Woo! That's done. Man. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh! Is he the scariest oh, human being? Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh! oh. Holy <laughs> shit! Are you kidding? Oh my god! Just hurt that dude. Oh my oh, god. My god! Dude, if if, if, if Nganu if Nganu if Nganu chowed me to a fight, I'd play dead. Like I'd be like, please don't hit me, sir. Hilarious, like, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you in an uncomfortable spot. Nganu says, Mike, um, I want to marry your girlfriend. Listen, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this. Man, Kane is never really the same after the fight. Dude, Those like, I fights. just, I really feel like Kane, like, he's like the Brandon Roy of MMA. Like, where it's like, if. I know. That's a good example. Good. Yeah. Where it's Who's like, that? Uh, uh, I don't think yeah. that. Steph, you could, you know, take your washroom break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you guys going to talk about fake sports? Okay. Suhudo so lining up in the karate stance. Well, he's trying, probably going to try to try to time Dom. Dom coming in. Yes. He looks like he's sitting, sitting Cruz back Cruz looks more. good, though. Cruz looks good. Yeah. yeah, he's looking fast. He's trying to hit that uh, stutter step. Suhudo so already going to the leg kick. And then, yeah, there he is. I would. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. about that stoppage, that though. Again. To be honest, I gotta see that stoppage again, man. I don't uh, know about that stoppage. I don't know thing. about that one. I don't know about that, that stoppage. That one, man. But like, you know what? So who don't deserve so all the credit in the world? But I don't know about that stoppage. That was a little early. That was a little yeah, early. Yeah. And the timing of the, the stoppage wasn't the greatest as he was getting up. Yeah, like, I think Keith was probably had in his mind to stop it before then, and then. Yeah. And then he was getting, yeah, is he, and he was getting up as he stopped it. And to be honest, yeah, in a, in a regular fight, I wouldn't necessarily mind the stoppage, but in a title fight, I think. Especially yeah. someone as durable as Cruz. Wait, hold on. No, no, man. Yeah, I agree. Title fight, there's like six seconds left. Like, if we were complaining about the Overeem uh, knockout, like, this is very similar. There's six seconds left. Even it reminds me of the Colby knockout if you think about it. Um, and well, that one, people were saying that that one was um, unfair. But even this, he's fighting way more. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to add also how about that for the ultimate troll to beat what people consider the best fighter of all time in your division and then immediately in a controversial division decision and immediately be like, oh, no, I, I, I retire. Yeah. Who retired? <laughs> so who the like, controversial stoppage, you mean? Like, yeah, retired. Stoppage, sorry. Wait a second, yeah. Stefano, you didn't see? No, what happened? So Hudo uh, said he's retired. Hudo retired? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's bizarre. Look, I'll say this. It's not the worst stoppage I've seen. No, that's what no. I was going to say. No, even, yeah. though it it was early, even though it was early, it's not the worst. It's not the earliest stoppage we've seen, like, even this no. year. Oh, yeah, guys, guys, hold up, hold up. Look at Eddie Bravo. He's wearing the mask over his mouth, but not his nose right now. What? <laughs> I guarantee you he thinks it's some kind of conspiracy hoax. There's a cable still in the, in the, you know? Oh, man. I'm still, I'm still want Tony to trip on that one. Yeah, I don't want Tony to trip on that one. My hands are sweaty. I'm more nervous so with this fight than, than any of my fights. Is that weird? Like, am I, am I? A little bit. So we'll see yeah. how the second round goes. Tony picks up the pace. Justin's fighting his his little new altered style. Oh, not just coming. Justin forward. crack. Oh, Justin's cracking him here at the end of the round. I'll tell you what though. Like if if, if Justin can figure out his timing out just a tad more, Tony's gonna be in for a rough night. I'll tell you what though. This is a Justin round. Second round, absolutely. Yeah. yeah this is a Justin round. Tony's not establishing his weapons. Yeah, and every time he does open up, like, just as it's ready, there to counter something hard. Like, really hard counters. Even with that right or that left hook. Yeah. Wait, wait for it, boys. Wait for it, boys. Elbow. Nice leg kick by Justin. 
Wait for it, boys. How that round ends. Tony's defense is looking slick. Oh, he dropped him. He dropped him. He dropped him. Oh, he staggered him. KG staggered him. Yeah, but Tony answers back with a jab. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, oh, another right hand to look forward to. Oh, another right hand. Oh, oh another left hook. Nice shot. Yeah, Justin's starting to land clean. This was a. You got. You guys see why I said it was a bad idea? Like, the fight's not over just yet. No, even if he wins, man, like that's. Yeah. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be a fight. It's gonna. It's gonna be a three months fighter suspension at least. Oh. If I'm Habib, oh, I am. Okay. I'm concerned. Ooh, okay, too. Yeah. Every time Ferguson opens up, he's eating a counter. Guys, watch this low kick going 27 seconds left into the to the round. Spoiler alert. <laughs> A little spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for you guys, but not for the brutal leg kick, man. If I'm Habib, I'm real scared of Justin, especially the way he looked tonight. Um, oh yeah. yeah. And if he's able to scramble back to his feet. Yeah. Or stuff some takedowns. Yeah. He's gonna have to stand with this guy. Maybe he shouldn't have cut. You know what? Let me not talk trash. Yeah. Well, that's a great idea. Cut way twice. Yeah. Ooh, dropped again. Ooh. Oh my god. You, you know what? Don't let this Gage be a lesson. Sometimes you just don't take fights, right? When you got something in front of you, like let this be the lesson because. You know, Tony was Tony was getting mad at everybody else, right? And oh, another right hand. Oh, oh we dropped man. him on the counter. It's but also, this has to be the end of that. Like, I'll fight anybody anytime. Yeah, you know, uh, and I'm invincible. Like, you you gotta be more careful with your career. Yeah, really right? impressed. I'm really impressed with Gage. He still has a lot of pop behind his shots. This late, yeah. so trying to take Tony's head off. He still has a lot of. Pop oh in shots. Oh, yeah, oh because they're they're fluid, man. He's pushing off from the floor, and they're just. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know what? Don't wow. Hard jab. He's hurting him. Oh my god. They waved it oh. off. They waved it off. Wow. What a fight card! And I thought that was a phenomenal card. I don't like that. Yeah, no, man, that was actually excellent. Yeah. One of the best fights in recent memory. Well, best card. Sorry. Top to bottom, it looked. I. Th yeah. yeah. I think it lived up to expectations, absolutely. Oh.